There are several factors that affect wound healing, and in the next couple of minutes, we will discuss the most important. If you are diabetic, it is important to know and control your blood sugars. Constant high blood sugar levels can cause your wound to heal slowly, not at all, or lead to further complications. Monitoring and controlling your blood sugar is one of the most important things you can do to heal your wound. A hemoglobin A1c is an estimated glucose average. This number will give you an idea of how well your blood sugar was controlled over the last three months. It shows you and your doctor how well your diabetes treatment plan is working. A goal hemoglobin A1c number for most people is 6. Your risk for complications increase with every point above this goal. Another factor affecting a wound's ability to heal is pressure. It is important to keep pressure off your wounds. We will use the term offloading, and this simply means to relieve or decrease pressure to the affected area. If pressure is being applied to a wound, it will not heal. When you have a foot wound, it is important to offload. Proper positioning of the feet is very important. You must make sure the position of the foot does not cause pressure to the affected area. Your doctor may prescribe a special boot for you to wear. You may also be asked to limit walking, stay off of your feet, or to limit anything that would cause pressure to the affected area of the foot. If you are chair, wheelchair, or bed bound, your provider may prescribe a special seat cushion, mattress, or bed to offload your bottom or hips. Additionally, you may be shown exercises that you can do in your chair to offload for a few minutes at a time throughout the day. While in bed, you may need to reposition yourself in order to offload your bottom and hips. Debridement, the removal of dead tissue from the wound, is another factor which affects wound healing. Your physician may use special dressings or a small instrument to remove the dead tissue. Other words you may hear to describe dead tissue are necrotic, slough, fibrin, devitalized tissue, or eschar. The purpose of debridement is to remove dead tissue, decrease bacteria, and stimulate cell growth in order to prepare the wound bed for healing. It is possible your wound care professional will perform a debridement at most or all of your clinic visits. A wound care nurse will offer topical anesthesia prior to debridement in order to decrease your discomfort. In some cases, a debridement will need to be done in the hospital setting under anesthesia. Nutrition is another factor important to wound healing. Eating the right foods can help your wound heal. To heal your wound, your body will need to use more calories. Your body will need protein. It will use vitamin A and C and sometimes the mineral zinc. It is important you eat a variety of foods to help your wound to heal. ChooseMyPlate.gov is a good tool for you to use. It tells you about different food you should eat and the number of servings you should eat. It is important to eat foods from each of the different food groups every day. Your doctor may put you on a special diet. The diet may include vitamins or supplements. Follow your doctor's diet instructions. This will help your wound to heal and prevent complications. Most diet instructions are based on Choose My Plate information. If you are not eating well, try eating five to six small meals per day. Try eating smaller meals and snacks between meals to help your nutrition. Some examples of good snack choices are cheese and crackers, a glass of milk, cottage cheese and fruit, fruit by itself, a half a small sandwich, milkshake, peanut butter on crackers or celery, juice, nutritional supplement drinks, protein shakes, or protein bars. As with any lifestyle change, it is always best to speak with your provider for your specific needs. Smoking is another factor which affects the healing process of wounds. If you smoke, having a wound that won't heal is another reason to quit. Smoking prevents healing by limiting the oxygen carried to the wound. Nicotine causes your arteries to become narrow. When this happens, the oxygen and nutrients carried in your blood cannot get to your wound. Oxygen and nutrients are vital for wound healing. Other complications from smoking include increased likelihood of wound infection and skin graft rejection. 
If you are ready to quit smoking, please talk to your Ohio State Comprehensive Wound Care Professional for guidance. You are one of the most important factors which affect your wound healing. The success of your wound care depends on your participation. Patients are expected to work as part of the wound care team. Your appointments with the wound care specialist will be weekly. Keeping appointments and following your treatment plan are critical to attaining a positive healing outcome. We will give you complete instructions to take care of your wound while you are at home. This includes cleaning your wound and changing your dressings, as well as following the advice of your wound care team. The wound care specialist does not take the place of your primary care physician. It is important that you maintain contact with your primary physician during your wound care therapy. If we can answer any question, never hesitate to contact us at the Comprehensive Wound Center at 614-293-4811.